how does the new Callaway AI200 iron compare to the Shrixen ZX5? Is that dispersion ring? Now I've got both of these clubs in exactly the same shaft. You can get these shafts in either model, 105 stiff in both, slightly different grip, but that's not gonna make a massive difference. I'm comparing these clubs because I think they look quite similar. They've got a similar size sole, maybe a bit wider on the ZX5 with that kind of like difference in sole design as well. I've got this on two degrees minus, so it's slightly flatter, which holds the ball out to the right hand side. I've got this also on two degrees flat lie angle because we've got more adjustability in the new Callaway fitting systems. Same shaft, different heads. Behind the ball, they look quite comparable. And face-wise, they're quite similar. They're gonna look different sitting in the bag though. Right, I've got a Callaway Chrome Tour golf ball. And I've got 190 to the pin. Let's ping a few of the Shrixen ZX5s. That is a nice golf club. Easy through the ball, good spin rate, good carry. Nothing feels like a uh, Srixen. Oh, that was awful. I've hit that so bad. Oh no, I'm near the pin. It's really quite nice to be able to compare these two models in exactly the same shaft, so we can literally see what the head on its own does. Solid. Gets up there. Now the irons that I use in my golf bag aren't as hot and happy as these two models of golf clubs. I prefer something that doesn't launch as far because I want to be as consistent as I can in my landing zone. Sometimes you need a bit of help. Sometimes you hit the ball off center a bit more. Sometimes you just need to reduce that deflection with technology. And both of these golf clubs are very good things to look at. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now for the Callaway. So I'm gonna take that one, that second shot out because it was quite thin. So far so good. Callaway. Now the Shrixen ZX5 have been in the market for a little while now. The AI 200s have freshly been launched. I would say they've got a bit more technology in the club face or behind the club face. So the way that that face behaves when you hit it off center has a bit more technology to help it maintain flight and distance and spin. They both feel good. Now the Callaway are probably gonna be easier to find somewhere where you can have a fitting for them because more retailers are gonna have them in stock and have the demo kit for them. The Shrixen isn't as widely available to, to have a fitting to go and hit them. Whoa. Maybe a bit of a different price point as well, that's gonna influence things. So four on four. Ooh. Four on four, I took one of the ZX5s out because I hit it particularly thin. Peak height, 124, two variants, 118, six variants. I struck that one quite poorly. I'd probably put those 120, 122, 124 in this area anyway. And in fact, if I ignore that shot, how much does it change the data? Not a lot. So we go 122 average against 124 average height. But I've got a little bit more ball speed out of the Shrixen. However, I did miss strike the A200 just a little bit more. Launch the same, spin the same. Direction, pretty much, well, the same. Carry, just different. 190 against 188. These are very comparable golf clubs. In a fitting scenario, you've got different settings you can have on this club. We can change the loft, we can change the lie angle within this head. Also, there's a lot of shafts in the Callaway that we can get dialed in with. There might be one more than another that suits you better. And equally in the Shrixen, there's lots of shafts that we can use to get you dialed in. But if you're looking at these two sets of irons after the fact, already built with the same shaft, same length, same grip, same lie angle, same everything, they're both delightful and behave in a very similar way. One thing I would attribute to that face technology in the Callaway is that dispersion ring. Dispersion ring, very, very tight with the Callaway, a bit more spread on the Shrixen, even though we've got the same shaft, which I would normally relate to dispersion anyway, but the club face is doing a lot of hard work.